What I'm wearing here is called a bilu. It's universal carry-all in Papua New Guinea. It is worn over the shoulder, generally. However, there's a much larger version, which women wear and they, to carry things, they put it over their forehead like this, and carry it around behind them. And they carry huge loads of firewood, food from the garden, or they won't stay up there. And uh, even babies, babies love it. They put it like a bit of a pillow in there for them on the bottom. This one is made of commercial fiber, so it's not the real thing in a way. The real thing is made of natural fiber from plants of sorts, very leaves, you know, long palm leaves or whatever. But the women pull these fibers away and they roll them on their thigh into a cord or a thread. And then they weave or knit, I don't know what they call it, these beelums. So those are generally brown colored, like the dried vegetable plant. But they dye them, they'll dye them with natural dyes, you know, rather colorfully sometimes. Uh, this was given to me as a gift from a couple that worked with me in the radio produ producing that I did. They gave it to me as a farewell gift when I came to the USA to retire. So as you can see, it's a very fancy one with kind of all kinds of tassels on it and here and so forth. These, this is made of natural, these are these job tears and these are, it's a seed pot from some plant, I'm not sure what it is, and these little seashells on it. This one too, a little fancier. Uh, these are put together with fishing line, very fine fishing line. And uh, it's amazing how they sit and put all this together. Uh, they're very good at that. The area where I worked, the province that is like a state, is called the East Sepik Province. And it's, the Sepik River flows through it. It's a big river and it's full of crocodiles. And so a crocodile is sort of the symbol of this province. Uh, so a friend of mine gave me this as a gift. As you can see, it's hand-carved, takes a lot of work, very detailed all around.